Hey there and good evening. Thanks for clicking on the Newslink Indiana weather and weather forecaster Liz Safchak. September is just finally ramped up and we're starting to get new statistics from the month of September showing what those climatological averages have been. And yes, it's been very warm. In fact, it's been seven degrees warmer than our monthly average for the month of September. It's also been very dry too. We're nearly two, uh, two inches less in precipitation than we typically see throughout the month of September. So it has felt very warm. It's felt very dry, but we haven't seen a lot of thunderstorms in our area. So I guess that's something to take of note. We've seen a couple of strong thunderstorms, but nothing on that severe criteria. So that's been one good note for the month of September. And I know a lot of cool weather fans are really hoping that October tends to be a lot cooler than we've seen in those 90 degrees the past couple of days. And I do have some good news on the way coming up in the seven day overnight tonight. We're still staying relatively warm, 70 degrees in Kokomo overnight, 71 out in Indianapolis, 72 as our low tonight in Muncie. We'll continue to see warm temperatures throughout your day tomorrow. Maybe not record breaking, but we'll be darn close. 88 degrees for our high tomorrow, mostly sunny conditions. And as this new system ushering in some big weather changes starts to push into our area, we're going to be seeing very strong winds and some very gusty winds associated with this. Sustained winds coming out of the west between 6 and 10 miles per hour around there. We could see gusts upwards of 20 miles per hour. So definitely uh, keep a hand on your jackets and hats as you're headed out the door. But that's really the big concern for tomorrow. We're also tracking out some rain. We think there may be a chance for you to see some very late in your day tomorrow. But the bigger threat is going to be Thursday. We'll time that out for you right now on Precision Cast. This is tomorrow night around 5 p.m. We are still see tracking out some chances for precipitation, mostly to our north, but this could shift southward. Mostly we're staying dry though until we start to push into the overnight hours, pushing into Thursday. We'll see a couple of stray, very light showers push through our area. Nothing really to note, just very hit or miss showers throughout the area. And then as we start to push into your Thursday afternoon, that's when the greater chance of these very small isolated showers pop up again, but still very fast moving and they're really hard to track in nature. So we will continue to keep an eye on that. Just keep the umbrella handy throughout your day for tomorrow and Thursday. But for the most part, most of us will stay dry while some of us will just see those quick showers push through the area. Now in the seven day forecast, we will stay warm for your day tomorrow, but that'll be really the warmest day we'll see in the next couple of days as we see a nice temperature decline on the way. 83 degrees for your Thursday. We'll track out those chances for some pop up thunderstorms and showers. Friday, though, that's where that temperature decline really comes into play. And we're going to again feel like fall all over again. 67 degrees for your Friday. We'll continue to track out those cooler temperatures for your Saturday and for your fall break where we could check out the chance for another stray shower or two. But those temperatures, look at those. Those are here to stay for a while. For more information, you can follow us on Twitter at NLI Weather.